get out of here. Subscribe. Hey everybody, Kyle here with Spicer Designs. Welcome back to the channel where we like to, ah, who cares? Yeah. Okay, if you've been following along with the channel, you know that I do a lot of work on the Langmuir Crossfire Pro CNC plasma table. If it's something that you're interested in, uh, but you're not really ready to spend the money on it, uh, I mean, we're talking five to $6,000, plus you gotta have a 240 volt, 30 amp feed for it, depending on what plasma cutter you get, an air compressor, you need to have room in your garage or some space to run this thing. So, Lelia, 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 over at Made the Best. Damn flies. I'm gonna lose my mind. Was nice enough to send me one of their laser desktop uh, CNC machines. Uh, you could do all kinds of stuff with this machine. It's very small, doesn't take up a lot of space. You don't need an air compressor. All you need is a 120 volt outlet that you already have in your house. Uh, it's a perfect way to start off into the CNC world and get familiar with some of the software. So let's go ahead and take a look at what she sent. Where did I put that thing? Damn it, where is it? Subscribe. Okay, here it is. This is the Ortur Laser Master 2S2. Uh, the workspace on this thing is roughly 18 by 20 inches. Everything on this machine is referenced in millimeters, but I don't really know millimeters that well. I know inches. Hey, Keystone Girl, come here for a second. Hey, uh, how many millimeters are in one inch? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. That's why I asked you. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's all millimeters. Well, I can't help you. You're no help. Get out of here. Sorry. This is the machine. This is a five watt laser. And I think that this is going to be a good video for a lot of people that don't know a lot about these machines because I don't know a lot about these machines. I'm used to working on the CNC plasma table. Um, there is a whole nother world out there with these uh, small little uh, laser cutters here. And I am just now getting familiar with this. So I've had about a month to start digging into this and some of the other accessories, which we'll talk about in a second. But I will say that it is a very cool tool and I definitely think I'll have a lot of uses for it in the shop here. So the first thing we'll talk about is this laser cutter itself. This thing is very similar to my CNC table. It's got your Y axis right here and your X axis right here. A couple things that I don't like about this machine is the cable management on it. It seems kind of, um, kind of chintzy. I noticed that there are some upgrades that you can do where you get a drag chain for these things. So I do think I'm going to purchase a drag chain. Uh, I think there's some links on Amazon I'll try to find them to make sure I put them in the description. Other than that, um, it's a really nice quality machine. So all you need to run this laser machine is the power supply, which plugs into a regular 120 volt outlet that you would have in your house. And then you need the USB cable, which also comes with it. And then you're also going to need some kind of a computer or a laptop. Probably recommended would be a laptop. Uh, you'll also need to download the software for it, which there's a couple different programs that you can use. Everyone seems to favor toward a software called Lightburn. That is what I chose to download. They have a 30 day free trial. And then after that, you have to pay for it. Uh, I am going to continue to pay for it because I do see myself using this thing. Another thing that you can add to this machine, which uh, made the best sent us out was this small air assist compressor right here. It also just plugs into a regular outlet in your house and then it just has an air tube and you put a different style nozzle on your uh, laser head here, which it all came with. And basically what it does is it blows air into your cut. It keeps the cut cooler. It helps blow material through. Uh, it just gives you a way cleaner cut. The other thing that they sent me was this honeycomb cutting surface right here. Uh, it basically has a bunch of honeycombs in it and it also has a, a back plate, a metal back plate on it. And if you're gonna be cutting anything with this laser machine, I would highly recommend this cutting surface. To me, I think it's a must have. Basically, it just gives you a way cleaner cut. It gives that laser something to shoot through. Um, it's basically the difference of taking your material that you're cutting and laying it flat on the table and trying to cut it or laying it on something like this where it actually has a way to pass through. Very similar to how the CNC plasma table is set up. Subscribe. The other thing that they sent us was this rotary piece. So what this rotary tool does is it plugs into the Y axis on the machine. So you just unplug that, plug this into it, and then the commands that it would normally give the Y axis for this uh, machine to move forward and backwards, 
it would now give the roller to turn the rollers. So this would allow you to put, say, a cup or a tumbler, uh, something round on this piece where you can laser engrave or laser burn um, into something round. We're not gonna be using this in today's video. I still need a little bit more time to get this thing figured out. Once I do get it figured out, I'll be making another video uh, where we can do a couple of test runs on this thing. Also in the package, they send you some test material. They send some wood samples, uh, some, some dog tags, some metal pieces, a little bit of everything. So you can kind of run some different material through this thing, test it out. One thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is take a lot of notes every time that you cut something so you can get all your settings the same at any time you run different material. This thing also comes with these fancy safety glasses. Protects your eyes from this harmful laser. I can't see anything. So enough chit chat. Let's test this thing out. Okay, I have everything set up here. The laser machine is plugged in. The air assist is plugged in. I have the USB plugged into the laptop and that is it. So I've got Lightburn opened up here on the laptop. So I'm going to take you into Lightburn here for a second and show you how easy it is to take an image, transfer it onto here, get it sized and start cutting it within a couple of minutes. Okay, here is Lightburn. It's got uh, some of our tools up here. This is what communicates over here with the uh, actual laser itself. And this is our working space right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do my logo. So I'm going to go to import. I'm going to select one of my logos here. So now you can see the logo is huge. I'm gonna go ahead and just shrink it way down. Um, when you actually set up this laser, this grid right here is the actual size of the laser's uh, working space. So you literally know exactly how your piece is gonna fit into that space there. So we're gonna shrink it way down. And what I wanna do is make this uh, onto a business card. So first thing, like I've told you before in some of my other videos, this is just an image. Uh, we need to have vector lines here so this machine can create like a G code for it. So you literally select it and then you're gonna go over to your tools and just hit trace image. And then it's going to give you like an opacity here where it uh, can see the, the defined lines cleaner, which that's good enough here. Hit okay. Now I'm gonna take this, move it out of the way. And I'm gonna hit the delete button and there it is. It made really nice, clean, smooth lines. Um, it, it looks perfect. So now I have something here that the software can actually uh, see and create a code for to cut. Now I wanna put this on a business card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a micrometer, which is a must have. If you have this machine, you are going to need a micrometer. This is just one that I picked up from Home Depot. I think it was like 25 bucks or something. I'll leave some links in the description on it for uh, Amazon uh, where you can find one of these. I recommend these digital ones, they're really easy. So here I have a, a metal business card. Uh, these are some of the samples that they give you in the Ortour kit. And I basically am just gonna go around and I'm gonna measure this business card. So it's 54 millimeters tall and it's 86 millimeters wide. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle and then we're gonna go up here. We're gonna unlock this. We're gonna go 86 wide and 54 tall. And here is the size of our business card. So you can see that our logo is a little bit small. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this logo and really make it fill out in that business card. I'll go a little bit smaller here. And that looks good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the shift key and I'm gonna click on the other rectangular outline that we just made and I'm gonna hit this bullseye right here. And you can see it just barely shifted over. Um, that, what that did was it completely centered it inside of that rectangle there. So now we have our logo, which is perfectly centered inside that space of the, of the business card. And what I'm gonna do now is just click outside of here and I'm gonna click on this outside line. And what I want that to be is a line. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna dial down the power on this thing so it doesn't burn through. And we're gonna speed this thing up just somewhere in there. Now what I'm gonna do is in order to get 
this business card placed perfectly in the right spot where the head and the origin is just in the right spot for this thing to cut it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this piece of wood on here and I'm going to burn that rectangular outline that I made and I'm going to use that as a reference. And then I'm going to take this metal business card and I'm going to set it right inside that rectangle and then I'm going to cut the logo in it. I'm sure there's a different way to do it, but for me, this was the easiest way that I could do it. Uh, it's what made the most sense to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape that thing down so it doesn't move and then we'll go ahead and burn that outline in it. Damn flies. All right, now that I have that thing taped down, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this laser on. All you do is hold down this button. There is a limit switch on the Y axis and there's also a limit switch on the X axis. So what it'll do is it'll find its home down on this bottom left corner and all that is part of the setup. It's very easy to set up. So we're gonna hold this on for five seconds and then it should come home and it'll kind of just stay in this corner here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up our business card here and we're going to try to cut this outline. So in order to know where this is going to be, what you'll do is you'll come over and hit this frame button and the machine will move over and it will just make a path around where the cut is going to be. So what I'm going to do is move it to the left a little bit. Okay, so when I hit this frame button, you can see that the laser head is going to kind of move right on the outside perimeter of where your cut is at. So I know that I have that wood placed right where I want it. So now the only thing left to do is to hit the start button and it'll burn that rectangle around there so we have a template to where we could set this business card. Now before we start cutting on this thing, they give us a little measuring tool right here. You're gonna want to uh, lift the shield up and there's a thumb screw you're gonna lift and this will raise your Z axis up and down. You're gonna move it over the material that you're cutting on and you basically place that cylinder right there. You, you drop the head right down on it till it touches and that gives you the perfect gap for that laser to uh, burn. And then you're going to tighten that thumb screw, pull that cylinder out, and then you can close your, your shield. Now we can burn this. Okay, now you can see that we have a nice rectangular pattern around this. And now we know exactly where to set that business card so we can get it to cut perfectly square on it. Okay, now that we have that card in place, we can go ahead and click on the actual Spicer Designs logo. And we're gonna crank up the power all the way to 100%. And we're gonna slow this thing down to about, let's go 600 millimeters per second. And we're going to fill this one. So we should be ready to go. Let's go ahead and hit the start button. See what happens. Hey, what are you, you can't suntan on this thing. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, that's gonna do it for today's video on this Ortur LaserMaster 2S2. Just wanna give a huge thanks to Lelia over at Made the Best for sending this to us to try out. Also, I will have affiliate links for everything that we talked about in today's video in the description below, which will include the laser machine, the air assist, the rotary tool, and the cutting surface. So make sure you check out those links. Last thing, uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram. The Keystone Girl just started us an Instagram page for Spicer Designs. We're gonna be posting a lot of the Keystone Girl 
and projects that we don't make YouTube videos on. And we're also gonna be doing some previews of upcoming videos with some reminders. So make sure you check it out. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Until then, we'll see you in the next one. Instagram hashtag. <laughs> I don't even know what I was gonna say. I don't think it's gonna make it. What's for dinner? What is for dinner? Uh, those turkey sliders. I don't really care for those things. You don't? I'll eat them. Oh yeah. We have some beer with it? Well, duh, it's always on the menu. Oh, there you go.